All right, guys, welcome back. We're here again with Leonard Big Bird Craddock. What's up, man? Good man, good man. Um, so we're going over day two of the World Grand Prix. Um, like we said in the first video, check it out if you haven't yet. Um, link in the description. It's a double in, double out uh, set play. So first to three sets, and fir or first to three legs, and first to two sets. In the first round, yeah. Yeah, so leading off day two, we have Madars Razma and Ryan Searle. What are you thinking, man? <laughs> I, I, I think, I think I've, I've looked at the odds. I think it's um, closer than they it, bookie checking. Um, Searle's a big favourite, um, but I like Razma, as you know. Neil Razma has. Um, I think Searle probably wins, but right, I think 2-1. You think Searle takes a 2-1? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, his he's got a 96 average for the year. His doubling stats are very good. Um, Rasma, mm. I believe this is Rasma's debut. Um, yeah, I think it is his debut, yeah. yeah. So we haven't seen him in this format. Maybe he thrives, but we won't be able to tell till after yeah. after Tuesday, obviously. All right. Next up. Ross Smith and Andrew Gilding. Uh, interesting one. Gilding's been in pretty good form. He made it to the, what was it, the final? Um, yeah, final of the, he lost to Chizzy. Oh, yeah, he lost to Chizzy. Yeah, okay. Um, so, Gilding, Gilding has the better stats here uh, and mm -hmm. better power rankings. Um, what do you think? It should be about a battle of the game, really, shouldn't it? Um, I think Gilding wins because he's playing much better. Uh, well, I say much better. Ross Smith played really well out there, but Gilded is just more consistent. I mean, every time if it's a 60 first start, he looks like he's following it. So I would go with Gilded. Yeah, um, I haven't seen. I think Gilding played in like 2011 or something. The last time I, his last time he played. Um, I really. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm picking Gilding to win, but I'm rooting for Ross Smith to win just because I, I like him mm -hmm. more as a player, more entertaining. Yeah. Um. All right, third match. All right. Uh, oh, your buddy, uh, Danny Napper and Gabriel Clemens. Chef, uh, sacrilege. Gabriel Clemens to win because I don't know Napper. <laughs> oh, dude, you know Napper's winning this, man. Um, Napper's better in every single stat, and he's higher hmm. power ranking. Um. Yeah, I, I I think it's an easy. I think it's an easy pick, but Clemens has a third gear. If he, he has mm. a he has a chance. But mm. Knopper Knopper made it to the semis last year, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you're thinking you thinking Clemens, or are you just? Like, well, just money? if Clemens, going to yeah, that option basically. <laughs> All right, so Knoppy it is. Um, fourth game, Joe Cullen, Damon Hedda. This is going to be a banger, I think. How about you? Uh, I go with Cullen. Yeah, Damon has the better stats overall. Um, but yeah, but Cullen's just better. Yeah, Cullen's been better in more important tournaments this year. So, mm. yeah, I'll go Cullen too. Agree. Next up, Rob Cross, Daryl Gurney. Um, initially. Mm. I'm thinking Cross is in better form. Mm. Um, his stats are way better. I think mm. deciding set averages, Gurney has him. 97 to 89. That's the only thing. Um, mm. Gurney did win this, though. So mm. he's won this tournament, so he knows what he's doing. I don't think Cross has won, has he? No. Not the Grand Prix, yeah. Quarterfinals, maybe, I think, once. Yeah, he would have done some of that. All right, so cross it is on that one. No, I agree. So, J <laughs> James Wade, Martin Lukeman. Wadey, 2 0. Wade to win the tournament. Oh, you think so, huh? Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Wade, yeah. Wade or Chizzy, I think. Yeah, I would love to see Chizzy win. I don't really care if Wade wins or not. So. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, Wade pretty much has him everywhere, and he's a double specialist, so 
That's an easy pick. I agree. Yeah. All right. Gerwin Price and Martin Schindler. This will be tougher than they predict. I huh. think. Yeah. Oh, you think? I think. You think Schindler's gonna put up a fight? Yeah, he's gonna put up a fight. He's a good player. Okay. Yeah, I will. You got to bet. I think you got to bet price here, but he's he's got to be. He's got to be what odds on pretty pretty heavy favorite. Mm. Yeah. Um, so maybe a two one bet. Yeah, it's not handicap. I think should have What is what is the typical handicap? Plus one and a half. Uh, I'll have a look quick. Um, my camera will just go off there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so like plus one and a half for them to win a set. Um, uh, Shinlin to win a set is basically four to six. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Hmm. Um, all right, and then last match of the night. Michael Smith, Nathan Aspinall. Should be one of the best of the night, too, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you... I'm going with Smith. Because of the top C, it's got a double in. It should be all right, you'd think. All right. Well, I'll, I'll differ with you there. I think Aspinall takes it. But... We have, we have, we have an aside bet? <laughs> yeah, the 10 bucks you lost last time on... Uh, yeah, oh, it it, well, I, I'm happy to double down if you want. Yeah, all right. That works. Go on, then. All right. So, Aps to win. I'm a little biased just because I like him more than Smith. But but mm. he's he's got it in him. So, he can win this. Mm. 100%. All right, man. Well, yeah. uh, let's see. That concludes, uh, concludes day two. Yeah, so let's enjoy the matches, and um, I'll talk to you after Tuesday's matches. Maybe we could do a, a Wednesday second-round review. All right. Yes, mate. Yeah, 100%, definitely. All right, man. Take nice it easy. One. Cheers, guys. Enjoy. All right, later. Bye. See you guys.